Mr. Kormanovsky. Here he is. <laughs> Tony Dorset, the footballing ledge. Stand back, Peter. He's safe. This is the genius who's going to be managing my little premiership football team. Um, no, I've still got two years to run on my contract at least. Tony, Tony, Tony. Don't disappoint me. Hmm? I've had a lot of bad luck with managers. Yeah, well, so as I've heard. How is, uh, how is poor Jimmy? Fine, 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 yeah. He's dead. <laughs> what was it in the end? Well, they say a heart attack, but his age could have been anything. Huh? Forty-seven. <laughs> What was he doing, drinking out of a car battery? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows why there were scorpions in Terry McNamara's kit bag? Hmm? Who knows why Bobby hit himself round head with cricket bat? That was a royal puzzle. Tony, please. Let us not dwell on their mistakes. <laughs> it is a great day when one gets to meet his hero. Me? Of course. Eh? You know, one night in Kabul back in 84, after a long day fighting with my brother soldiers, I watched you play on a tiny black and white TV against Borussia Dortmund. You know, you took the ball from halfway line around five players, then calmly chipped it over the goalkeeper's left shoulder like a Mohaddin warrior. <laughs> that was a great game. It was a Tuesday night. The day you I know. made my first billion, I built a statue of you in my hometown. From concrete. And my own blood. <laughs> Well, that's a nice gesture. <laughs> now, I've had a couple of thoughts about why you lads Tell me, please. <laughs> There's plenty of time for this later. Let's not ruin a beautiful evening, eh? You recognize this? Um. Yeah? <laughs> 81 Milk Cup semi-final, header off back post. Your short shorts, Tony, eh? <laughs> Your little shorty shorts. <laughs> Lord, I got them off the eBay. Hmm. Well, I got them off a man who got them off the eBay. A greedy man, but uh, he won't be so greedy anymore. <laughs> Sit down, Tony, please. Right, uh, would you like some soup? Oh, oh yeah, great. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? Uh huh. <laughs> Drink up well because tonight we make fire together. <laughs> what? You and I let us steal fire from the gods and make flames like the caveman. Wait, do you not want to talk tactics? Have you ever seen a man's fluid in the light of a bonfire tunnel? No. It appears quite black. Here, take this. We're going to the stadium, to the East Terrace. Well, the one the council's just listed, so it can't be turned into a hotel. <laughs> Here, come. You can put these on in the car. Dimitri? Why are you disturbing me, Tony, on a Wednesday? It is property on the night! <laughs> you said to come over and talk about the team. <laughs> it's just my little joke, Tony, of course. <laughs> I knew you were coming. <laughs> What's that? It's my wife. Uh, she's ironing. <laughs> she doesn't like chores. Uh, O'Connor oh, hasn't turned up for training again. Um, I think the rumours might be true about him going to Arsenal. No, 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 no. 
He knows how much I value loyalty. You know, now I remember, I think he complained to me about a twisted ankle. Ah! And the groin injury, I think. A groin injury? He never mentioned it to me. Ow! Possibly a broken thumb? <laughs> He's not going to Arsenal. <sighs> Come, Tony, sit, please. Um, I'm, I'm very happy standing. No, 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 please, sit in my chair. Here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See, we can watch Property Ladder together. <laughs> it's a bit cramped. <laughs> I've known worse. During my time in the Navy, I was lieutenant on a submarine in the Baltic when a destroyer cut across our bow, damaging the bulkhead and sending me right down to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> I was alone in a sealed chamber for three days with no food and very little oxygen. Good. <laughs> the only thing that kept me going, Tony, was my black market cassette of your FA Cup single. Tony Dorset and his Mega Mix crew. <laughs> We're going to Wembley to win the cup. We'll feel all trembly when we hold it up. <laughs> As I slipped into unconsciousness, your voice pulled me through. Can you feel my gratitude, Tony? Is your wife all right? Sounds like she needs help. You know, I think she's made a bit of a mess. Please, go with Pieter to the double garage. Under the giant garden Jenga, you will find two shovels and some heavy-duty plastic sheeting. <laughs> I'll finish off here with Sarah Beanie. <laughs>